Hi everyone, thanks for your time and, and attention. Um, I'm here to talk about sport. I love sport very much, I have done my whole life. But I want to be clear when I, when I say that, I'm talking about the benefits that sport can give kids. And it's not a progression to a, a professional career I'm talking about, I was not even playing as an adult. It's the lessons that they can give kids throughout their childhood in terms of being part of a team, having people rely on them, relying on other people, engaging with an adult outside the family unit that's trying to develop and encourage them. So, and those lessons are transferable to all walks of life, no matter what you do in your workplace or in sustaining relationships going forward. Unfortunately, kids are dropping out of sport at an alarming rate. As you can see from my slide, 70% uh, of kids are dropping out of sport in the US by the time they're 14. I'm currently talking to some national sporting bodies in Australia that are losing a third of their participants annually. So before they can even break even, let alone grow their game, they've got to get a third more people back to the game just to keep it where it was. I find that quite alarming. And with all those kids are dropping out of sport, they're missing all those lessons I just alluded to. Before we can solve the problem, we need to understand why it's existing. And I think it's pretty obvious. Today's kids are digital natives. They've got a lot more options than, than people of my age and older had when we were kids. Um, I think it's easy for adults to criticise kids and call them lazy and those sort of things, but in all reality, we've created an environment that's made it very, very difficult for kids to be active. It's never been harder to be active as a kid than it is right now. What I mean by that quickly is, you've got social media platforms, video games and all those sort of things that are in part designed by, social, uh, by childhood psychologists to keep kids sort of dopamine receptors and keep them active and keep, them, keep the product sticky and keep them going on, on the platforms. Um, so it's, it, as I say, it's never been more difficult for a kid to get out in the park and be active than it is right now. Um, the flow on effects of that are childhood obesity, uh, mental health issues and all those sort of things in kids that they really shouldn't be dealing with at such a young age. So what do we do about it? That's where we came in to participate. So after a lifetime of involvement in sport from a range of different reasons, or a range of different avenues I should say, um, participate is designed to personalise the kids' relationship to their sport, to their club and to their coach. If sport can't increase its personalisation effect on kids, it's going to lose more than it's already losing now. Um, we work with the University of WA with their sports science team and the functionality participates designed with three principles in mind, really. Um, number one, the kid wants to feel like they've improved regardless of their ability level, which is, I think, a really important point to note. You don't have to be the star, they just want to feel like they've improved. They want to feel like they've made a positive contribution to their team and they want a good relationship with their coach and that's how our platform is designed. Uh, we only launched in June this year. We've got clients in five different sports and, and I'm talking to every national sporting body at the moment in the country. Um, they've all got participation at the top of their tree. This is a, a top of their strategic outcomes. This is a global problem that's got uh, scalability, but I want to focus on Australia and get it right first. Just before I get to my ask, I just want to ask, well, of all the people in the, the room that are parents, what do you want for your kids? I'm a parent and I know what I want. Um, we'd like to meet the CEO of uh, Sport Australia, Kate Palmer, and the Federal Minister for Sport, Richard Colbeck. And anyone else that's got an interest in sport, please play. Thanks, very interesting. I actually did a master's in this area, so maybe a few questions more for you later. But for now, school curriculum. Can you see that there may be opportunity to bring participate into the school curriculum? Absolutely. I've just worked through a rather, rather large project called Participate Schools and uh, presented on Monday this week to 70 uh, high schools that uh, are interested in how they do PE assessment, but also in how they motivate kids for extracurricular sporting activity. So the same motivation to get them into that is the same as community sport. So yes. Great, thanks Paul. Thank you.